Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to get this everyday fall grunge makeup look. So let's just get right into it. So first I'm gonna prime my face with the Maybelline Instant Pore Eraser, and then I'm gonna go ahead and dab some foundation on my face. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation, and I'm just gonna buff that in with a Real Techniques brush. Next, I'm gonna go in with concealer. I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade of light. I'm just gonna go under my dark circles and highlight the high points of my face and cover up any blemishes and go back in with that Real Techniques brush and just buff everything out. Then I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just gonna set all the places that I put that concealer that way everything stays seamless and nothing creases. So I'm gonna do my brows. As always, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Brow Pencil in the shade Bang & Brunette, and I'm just gonna go ahead and define my brows and fill in any sparse areas where there aren't any hairs. And I'm also gonna fill in the front portion of my brows too, just to make them look a little bit more full and seamless. Next, I'm going to carve out my brows with that concealer that I used earlier. I'm going to use the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara to set those hairs. After that, I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and then go ahead and set my lid with the Ofra Buttercup Eyeshadow. Then I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear and use that as my transition shade. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend everything above the crease. And then I'm gonna go in with the Balm Nude Tude Palette and use the shade Sexy to define the crease and add more definition. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Ofra Shadow in the shade Truffle. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pack that over my lid. And then I'm also gonna go in with the color Silly from the Balm Palette. And I'm just gonna pack that shadow all over the center of my lid. And I'm gonna go back in with that shade Sexy and go underneath my waterline and go ahead and smoke everything out. And then I'm gonna go back in with Cocoa Bear and blend everything out on the waterline and bring it up to the top. Next, I'm gonna use the shades Sassy and Snobby and blend those together and use that for my inner corner and brow bone. Next, I'm gonna take a burgundy eyeliner and line the top portion of my lid. And you can do a wing if you want, but I decided just to keep it simple today. And then next I'm going to tight line my waterline with some black eyeliner. This is by the brand Hikari. And then I'm just going to smudge that out with a synthetic brush just to make everything a little bit more smoky and grungy. Next I'm going to curl my lashes and use the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara to coat my lashes. And I'm going to make sure that I am packing that on pretty thickly because I want to make it more smoky and a little bit more grungy. After I coat my lashes, I'm also gonna go back in with the eyelash curler to make it a little bit more messy, and then I'm gonna coat my lashes once more. And then also coating my bottom lashes. And then next, I'm gonna take the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is in the medium deep shade, and I'm just gonna warm up the face with that bronzer. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in the shade Double Dip, and I'm just gonna put that on my cheekbones, nose, and Cupid's bow. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use this Clinique lipstick. This is in the shade A Different Grape. You can pretty much use any lipstick you want, but I thought this darker, deeper shade would be perfect for the fall. Then I'm gonna spray my face with some All Nighter Setting Spray, and that completes this look. I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.